Good morning, everybody. We are live. I am Chris, and that is Louie. He's sitting there with his... He's mad at hit me because he thinks I'm going to make him work out today. Do you see that? He's like, don't look, don't look at that. Don't look at that. Hi, <laughs> good morning, everybody. Hi, so we are doing a 45-minute workout today for legs and back, all right? Um, you're going to need dumbbells, and I'm going to use a chair today because we're going to use that for support for a few things. Um for a couple of things, okay? Um, so we have not a ton of moves. We have eight moves today, and they are going to be repeated for the full 45. Now, don't turn this off, okay? That is your chance to say in the second round, you know what, maybe the first round was like really too easy, and I can try a little too heavier, or vice versa. Maybe you're like, ooh, you know what, with that weight, I just wasn't getting the correct form. So feel it out, see what's good for you. I will tell you what weight... I'm using, and the dog is real. Show him your ears. You are showing the ears. Like, look at him. He's like embarrassed or something. All right. So anyway, good morning. All right. Hey, Zeke and Aaron. Zeke and Aaron in the house live today. Let me not trip over my own stuff. Oh, is that daddy? It is. All right. So we're going to get ourselves warmed up, and we will get this show on the road. All right. Let's do it. All right. <sighs> nice. Hey, buddy. <laughs> We're going to bring it in. Squeeze it in. Good. Good. Good morning, DJ Kevy Kev. I'm good. How are you today, Kev? So if you're just joining me, Kevin, that right there, that thumb right there, that's my hubs. That's the hubs. Good. <laughs> good. Good. Nice. <laughs> Who loves to use my magic mirror? <laughs> now look, you're going to reach, reach reach good good keep going up nice all right we got sandy tara robin Joni, michelle good good okay take this to a side a lunge side to side how you doing today lou <laughs> stay with it you eight. hey heather good four three nice in the center pulse it down pulse it down Good. Now, you're not doing this. Okay. Pull those shoulders back. Actually, let's take those hands behind the head. So you're up nice and tall here. Good. Keep going. Four. Three. Lift up your right heel for four pulses. Four. Three. Two. Switch. Four. Three. Two. And switch. Good. Two. Three. And switch. Is Penny going crazy? <laughs> two right. Two left, two right. Oh, the whole family is down here. Two left, that's Anna. And right, <laughs> and that's our Anna Banana. And <laughs> good. Now hold it down, hold it. Good, shoulder rolls back and back. Good, and back. Two more, one more, nice. Now take your arms in front, curl each leg as you pull. Pull. Good. Keep going. Uh, nice. Squeeze those upper back muscles. So squeeze the shoulder blades back and together. Keep going. And up. Nice. Last four right here. It's four, three, two. Knee to the chest. Pull it up. Pull it up. Not this. Okay. Tall. Good. Keep going. Lift. Lift. Now. Wider, hand to knee, hand to knee. Good. Keep going. Head up. So there will be a little bit of a balance going on. Yeah, always and a banana, right? Come on. Uh, you should hit the R button, Kev. And it, oh, no. you always when you put the when you put the thing on, she stops doing what she was. She was cleaning the couch. You four, three, two. Now march it out. March. Okay. One squat, one fold. Again, one squat, one fold. Good, and squat, and fold. Good. Kelly with an IE. Keep going. Two more. Down. Nice. One more. Now this time you're gonna hang down there. Hang down and kind of just go side to side. <laughs> Hi Lou. <laughs> Hi Lou. <laughs> Stay there. Keep going. Nice. Now, hands to your knees. 
roll your back up and back down. So you're arching as you go down and rolling as you go up. Arch. Hey, Vanessa. Good. I wish Anna cleaned the house. <laughs> Anna might be messier than me. <laughs> and Kevin's like, no. And down. And very nice. Okay, first move. Weight's gonna go under your heels and then a pair in your hands. So the ones under your heels, I'm just gonna use, I'm gonna use Louis two pound dumbbells here. Here, we're gonna do a little product placement. Actually, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use the four pound dumbbells because they'll lift my heels up a little higher, okay? Now, what you could think about this is maybe the first round, I'm gonna use 25s for the first round. Okay, maybe the first round gets you used to the move, right? <laughs> product placement. You put your heels up on your dumbbells, okay? You could also hold one dumbbell at your chest. You're gonna go down halfway up and then down all the way up. You can hold them by your sides if you want, okay? All right. Hey, Jennifer. <sighs> okay, are you ready? Here we go, one minute. Sorry, good. A minute to win it today. Come on, and down, up, nice. All right, now. Keep going. Try not to round in your back. You wanna drop your backside here, down. And if you wanna go slower than this, you absolutely can, but I want that little half movement at the bottom, okay? Don't let those weights round your shoulders forward, okay? And that's kind of the reason we're working legs and back together today, because I really want you to focus on trying to get those back muscles nice for that posture. Come on, <laughs> good. Hi, Dawn. Come on. Again. Nice. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Thank you, Stephanie. Nice. Stay with it, guys. Come on. And stop. Okay, so next move, you're going to have a couple options. Okay, so again, first round, we're going to kind of be feeling this out here. Right foot forward, you're gonna go into a one leg, okay, or staggered dead row. So what it is is you tip over, okay? Now, if you want a little more uh, challenge, you can do this whew, with a one leg deadlift, okay? That does challenge the core a little more. Another thing you could do just to cheat a little bit on that is forward to one finger on the chair, and then row. And the reason I do that, it's not completely putting your weight on the chair, right? But you're getting a little bit of help. Ready? One minute. So you could do staggered, up, down. Good. Tipping from the hip. Okay, the inside of the arm, I have a 15 pounder here, but I think I'm gonna go up on the second set. Okay. Again, if you're doing it with the chair, one finger on, okay? Or maybe you pretend to put your hand on the chair and that is enough, right? To get you to believe that you're getting some balance without the help of your hand on the chair, right? Keep going, keep going. Oh boy, there, <laughs> there's the product placement right there, Dawn. Come on. <laughs> Up. Good. Louie loves his new yoga towel. So right here, right? Good. Focus. And stop. So we're switching. <laughs> switching. I'm just going to turn it around. Okay. Again, you can stagger down in a row. Okay. Or you can put a hand or a finger on the chair. You ready? And let's go. So now, if you're not feeling these movements, right, in the correct spot, because you want to do this, okay, but your leg is like this, it's better that you do it with the staggered and do it correctly before you do it incorrectly, okay? So what I mean is, if you're doing it correctly here, that leg is going back, all right? 
not this. All right, you want control of your body here. So it might mean slowing it down, and that's okay. Good, and can I just let me know the time, okay? Thank you. <laughs> Did you take video or just picture? <laughs> take video of that if you can. Well, <laughs> good. Stop, okay. Next one, make sure the first round for us, sorry, first round, let's go no weight so you can kind of feel out what you want to do here, okay? <sighs> Make sure your chair does not have wheels on it. <laughs> Left heel on the floor, right heel up. Now that's option one, to do it with a heel down. Option two is to work without that foot on. So it's kind of a pistol squat, okay? Maybe halfway you go put the foot down. We're going without weight the first round. Ready? Here we go, one minute. So down. Now, you wanna focus on not letting that left heel come up off the floor, all right? Also, you're not, uh, all right? Work on, maybe you have those right toes down with 80% of the weight in the left leg and just 20% in the right toes. All right, good. And stand up all the way. Try not to bam down on your chair, right? Good. <laughs> bam! <laughs> good. Nice. Keep going. Down. <laughs> uh, Robin has no control today. <laughs> you know, there's days like that, right? There's days like that. What it sometimes is, okay, Sometimes it's also mental, the no control of your body, and you have to just bring it all in. Okay, bring it back, <laughs> right? They're like, you know what, I'm okay. Calm down, I got it. Because sometimes the more you think you don't have balance, stop, the more in your head you get about it, and then you're like, can't, right? <laughs> right, okay, so other leg. Are you ready? And four, three, two, here we go. Yeah, good. Nice, down. Oh, this is a nice cushion chair. <laughs> we had folding chairs for when family came over, like for outside and stuff. And we were, we were schooled by Jake and Ronnie to make sure that you have padded chairs for the, the older people. God. <laughs> Good. Make sure those chairs are padded, guys. Come on. <laughs> Good. Good. <laughs> Whew. Uh, good. Control it. Nice. <laughs> Dawn, the chair is more emotional support than physical. <laughs> All right, come on. Woo-hoo, good. Again. Down. And uh, nice. And stop. Yes. <laughs> So Hillary, I'm the opposite. My left leg is always better. Okay, so now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go 22 pounds for one arm row, okay? Now, I'm gonna have left hand on the chair, right arm has the dumbbell. You are not like this. Right leg back, you're gonna go one up and three down. We're gonna go, watch, up and here we go. Uh, down, good, good, uh, <laughs> nice, <laughs> Lacey, get the not padded ones if you don't want them to stay, good, <laughs> and up, down, uh, uh. <laughs> oh my god, I love this group, good, now what you don't want to do is this, Okay, sometimes I see people doing rows, and see how this is coming to my chest? You don't want that. You wanna bring it up, so you can bring that elbow up, and that dumbbell ends up kinda of next to your ribs. Okay, not, right? And the elbow is not popping out like this. It's close to your body for this row. One, down, two, again. Uh. <laughs> Dawn, Dawn Endo doesn't have any chairs in her house. She only has bar stools. <laughs> and stop. <laughs> By the way, Don Endo started the morning with a picture. 
and the announcement that it's National Martini Day, which I feel like that was last week, too. All right, you ready? <laughs> and here we go, other arm. One, and down, two, again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's go. Up, down, yeah. <laughs> These were from uh, BJ's, 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 yeah, yeah. Keep going, and up. What's that? Yeah, cut. <laughs> Just to be clear, Kevin said, BJ's Wholesale Club. And I was like, what? And he's like, BJ's Wholesale Club. I'm like, oh. <laughs> well, I was wondering when I said BJ's, why Kevin? <laughs> Why like Kevin's radar went up. <laughs> Come on. Sorry, Aaron. And, uh, and stop. Woohoo! Okay. Come down to your uh, mat. I'm going to use, for the first round, just to feel it out, I'm going to use two 15 pound dumbbells. You can also use one dumbbell here. Okay? Now, look at this. We're going to do an ISO. Not really a glute bridge, a hamstring bridge. Okay, let me show you this. Okay, give me a close up real quick. So in a glute bridge, your feet would be here, right, and you'd be up. A hamstring bridge is a little bit farther out and you're gonna hold it there. So you should feel your weight like at the top rib and up, rather than like, I mean, you're gonna feel your shoulder blades, but you shouldn't feel any pressure on your head here, okay? So now, grab your dumbbells. We're gonna do pullovers with an ISO hamstring. Okay, and you're really gonna feel this in your course. It's gonna be one minute. Ready? Take it slow. It's four, three, two, back up, and up. Two, three, good. Now, you wanna squeeze your butt a little bit. All right, good, and back. Now, if you're like, I can't hold that position, Chris, maybe you just put it down, right? Drop it down for a second and come back up, and up, two, good. Again. <laughs> Good. Hi, Janet and Seal. Good. Again. Dig it back. Nice. We're trying not to arch in the back. You want to squeeze. You'll feel your core a little bit here, too. Let's go. Back. And also, like, I checked I checked, I checked this move out this morning to see. I was like, I was thinking about it last night. Like, well, these two moves work well together. And I was like, oh, yeah, they do. Oh, yeah, they do. Oh, yeah, babe. Come on. So speaking of oh, yeah, babe, come on. You're going to love this. And stop. Whoo. Okay, so round one is done. So we're going to move through all these again. Okay. Check your weight. How'd you do? I'm going to go heavier for my squats. I'm going to go for 30 pounds. Okay. 30, baby. 30. All right. Where are they? There it is. Okay. Going up higher. Okay. And I'm going to go down halfway up. <laughs> I'm sure he has, Aaron. <laughs> Hi, Zeke. <laughs> Hi, Zeke. Okay, so we have one minute down halfway up, down all the way up. Ready? Here we go. Down, halfway up, down. Good. Nice. At the top, squeeze everything in your legs. When you're coming up, press through the back of the ball of the foot. Good. To get some extra little bit of contraction through those legs. Good. Keep going. Keep going. So I ordered, of course I ordered an oh yeah babe shirt for Amanda because she's the one that made it up. <laughs> and then... I had ordered one for me and one for Kevin. <laughs> and Kelly wanted one. So, place this order. And I'm like, where is it? <laughs> so I pull a Joni, I pulled a Joni. I get a message from Atlanta Nikki. <laughs> I just got some oh yeah babe shirts in the mail and I didn't order these. <laughs> and stop, whoo! Okay, all right. <laughs> And I realized I didn't change, I did not change the shipping address from the last time I used my spread shirt. <sighs> okay, 
So now you have your staggered. <sighs> Let's do it this way this time. Left foot, left hand. Okay, you're going here. Or with that row, or stagger it with the row. So it'll be down, up. Go as slow as you need to. Ready? Here we go. Row it. It's the row where I get all screwed up, right? <laughs> and down. So one finger on the chair. Not like this. When you come up, if you have the chair, tap your toe. Oh yeah, good. Oh yeah, babe. Good. <laughs> come on. Woo! Down. Good. Come on. <laughs> Vanessa, that is so cute. Teach Vanessa said she's going to Atlanta. She could go pick them up. She actually shipped them to me. That would have been great. That would have been awesome if you met Atlanta Nikki. <laughs> Good. Uh, last one. And stop. Woo! Other side. Uh, you ready? Break out. <laughs> it's not break out, but I wish it was. Ready? Here we go. Down again. Okay. Listen. This can absolutely be staggered. Okay, right here. Good. And up. Good. Keep going. Down. Good. Woo! Let's go. Now, when I put my hand on the bench or on the chair, I'm actually barely touching it. Just putting like two fingers on it very, very, very lightly because I want to work the balance. I don't want the chair to do the work for me. Okay, but if I just have a little bit of help, it helps me. Yeah, come on. Keep it going. And stop, woo, okay. Now, a couple options for this pistol squat. You can add weight, or you can go lower with it without weight, but that's up to you, okay? Because we haven't done these in a while, we could do them on the chair. I'm gonna add only 10 pounds. You don't have to add weight if you don't want to, okay? So, uh, right leg, left toes on the floor or up. Ready, take it down, here we go. So this is a nice progression into getting lower into the pistol squats too, right? So if you're kind of like, or to get better at these, if you're, if you're flopping down on the chair right away, okay, you gotta work this a little bit more. Maybe you go from chair, right, to something a little lower, like weight bench. I like the, I like the height of my coffee table to do these on. <laughs> My $10 coffee table from the thrift store. You go <laughs> and down <laughs> and up. Woo, good. Nice. And up. So sometimes two Robin, second round. Good. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. It wasn't Atlanta Nikki. I'm sorry. I saw Nicole and I was like, it's it's Sugar Honey. I'm sorry, Sugar Honey. You go <laughs> it's Sugar Honey Nicole. Oh, come on. <laughs> And, and stop, woo! Oh yeah, ready for the other side, babe? You got it. <laughs> and here we go. Hey, sugar honey, in return, I'm gonna send you a towel, okay? <laughs> Maybe two. Good, good, drop it down. Speaking of the towels, I've been for like three days trying to figure out the easiest, cheapest way to send towels internationally so Daniel was my <laughs> my test subject because <laughs> I told him I would send him a towel the cheapest I could get to ship one towel to the UK was $21 which is <laughs> more than the towel costs and the cheapest I could get to ship to 
Uh, Canada was $17. I can't charge you guys that. I can't do it. <laughs> Good. I'm pushing my foot down into the floor. La la, push. Good. So I'm pushing my left foot into the floor. Push. And stop. Good. Okay, I'm gonna go heavier next time because now that you kind of have the feeling, you can do it, right? So we're going back to one arm row. I'm gonna use 22 pounds. Okay. This time, one, two, three. See how I'm turning it? Watch. One, two, three, down. Here we go. One, two, three, and down. Good. So pull, pull, back. You got it, Lala. Good. Up, back. Now, another thing. When you do that pull back, it all stays in here. Okay, so for some reason when people turn their, their hand, it goes from here to here. And we don't want that, right? We want it all in here. Okay, keep going. Good. Up. Good. <laughs> yes, keep going. Up. <laughs> I mean, I know it's not my uh, <laughs> choice of what I have to, it's not, I mean, it would be your choice if you wanted to spend that much on the shipping. But man, good. Whoo, good. Come on. And up. Back. Up. Good. Come on. Up. And good. We're going to switch sides. Love working that back. Yeah. Woo. Ready? Other side. Here we go. Up. Back. So then I was trying to decide how I can get Liam a whole box of towels <laughs> so that I could have him <laughs> distribute them through Canada for me. <laughs> Liam is my international distributor. We speak, <laughs> Dawn knows where this is going. The international language. Good, come on. Woo. Good, come on. Good, pull up close, up. And Yes, yeah, Shannon, good job. Woo. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Pull, back, pull, good. You're almost there. Woo. I'm gonna keep the form. One more time, one more, you can do it. Back, back. Oh, good, woo. All right, good. So, Michelle asked, on those rows, does it matter which foot is forward? You want to have the same foot forward as the arm, okay? So let's go back to your ISO bridge pullover, okay? I am using my two, you know what, I'm gonna use two 20s this time, because I know I can. Because <laughs> the 15 felt like, meh, that was all right. All right, so bring it down. Whew. Legs are extended, not flat. Legs are extended, but not locked at the knees. They're, they're not quite straight. Lift up, hold it, squeeze the dumbbells together. Four back, four. Three, two, and up. Good. Three, again, good. Go Trudy booty, and back. Two, three, again, good. Squeeze. And up. Now, when I do these like this, man, do I feel the core. Okay, come on. Nice, take it back. Two, three, again. Yes, keep those glutes off the floor. Nice, come on. And back, two, oh yeah. Ooh, 20s are special on this one, come on. Woohoo! Bring it up. Two, three, and back. Good. And up. And stop. Yes! Woo! All right, grab yourself a quick drink. We have one more round, everybody. One more round. <laughs> one more round, DJ Kevy Kev. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> I don't know what that was, actually. <laughs> All right, woo! All right, assess those weights. Assess. 
All right. Heels elevated. Okay, this time, we're just going really slow down. Really slow up, okay? Choose your weight, I'm going 30. <laughs> What's wrong with me? <laughs> Amanda, <laughs> uh, all right, you ready? We're going super slow, four down, four up. You got it, you ready? One more time, go. <laughs> Two, three. And uh, good. Squeeze every muscle in your legs. Good. Okay. Push away. Push the floor away. Squeeze every muscle in your legs. Think about those thighs. Think about the muscles in your thighs. So push and squeeze. Good. Keep your abs strong. Two, three. Good. Let's focus on the legs for a change. Good. <laughs> Not on the show I was watching last night. Go on, up. and two, Woo come on, and down. Two, awesome, good, up. Press the floor away and then squeeze the glutes. Down, two, three, good. Wah, 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 wah. There you go, Margie, come on, and down. And last one. Stop, Woo. okay. All right, we got that one arm row with the stagger or one leg deadlift, okay? So, left arm, right leg is back staggered, okay? Or right leg goes back, okay? Slow, slow motion for me, you ready? Here we go, down, row. Now again, that leg, if you're doing the one leg deadlift, okay, needs to be back, not, and if you're not sure if you're not doing it right, watch this, it's not this, okay? Because then you can't get full motion. That leg needs to be back. If you can't get the leg back, maybe you do put your whole hand on it, okay? Until you get that positioning, right? Good. Keep going. Awesome. Love working that balance. So important as we get older. Good. So important all the time. <laughs> Holy ham hocks. I love you, Melita. Woo! Come on. Good. And stop. <laughs> you ready for the other side? <laughs> All right, right hand, left leg goes back, and here we go. Now, again, if you're doing it with the stagger, that is totally fine, okay? Just because I'm doing it this way with the one leg doesn't mean you have to do that. You gotta work what's right for you. And how do you know that? How do you know what's right for you? Is if you're doing it with correct form and you're feeling it in the correct spot. So. If you're doing this, right? You should be feeling the back of the leg on that, this lifting part. If you're back here or here, when you row, you're working the upper back and then you come up, right? So whichever move feels best for you. Okay, just let me know the time, okay? Whew. Now, I started to lose my center. So what I started to imagine was that there's really thin walls on each side of me and stop. And that just kind of kept me in this small space. Okay, we're going to rows. Oh, no, we're not. Sorry, we're going to pistols. Yay, okay. So option three, wait again with the, with the um, wait. Okay, or not. Option three, you can hold the chair and go up and down. You don't have to. I'm gonna start here, and then I think halfway through, I'm gonna use the chair with the weight. Okay, so you ready? Go. So I'm gonna start here. Okay. Taking it my own pace. And again, you are doing this if this is right for you, if that's what's good for you. Okay? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Right? Keep going. 
Nice little progression. Woo! Okay, so now I'm gonna move to the chair with my 10 pounder. I'm just gonna do that for me because I'll lose form if I keep going that way, right? So sometimes that's what you gotta do. You do maybe half the reps one way. Oh yeah, now I feel it, babe. Come on. <laughs> Good. Somebody in the comments said, wow, these are functional. <laughs> and they are, right? Stop. Good. Switching legs. Or if you want to come with, I'm going to do some here. Okay. Ready? Go. One leg might be easier for you than the other. I know that I'm not gonna get as many in on this side because I know my body. And I haven't done these in a while. And I'm cheating with using the chair. Ah. Going to the chair for me now. Woo. You guys can only see what the producer was doing right now. <laughs> Louis in the producer chair. <laughs> Keep going. Come on. Yeah, third round is always functional. <laughs> Keep going. Now you feel the function. Come on. Woo. We're going to throw these in more often, huh? Eh? Eh, Jenna? <laughs> so, Jenna, stop. I didn't say end. Okay. <laughs> okay, you ready? Now you're one arm rows. Four up, four down. Okay, so we're gonna be harder this time. Oh yeah. Ooh, all right. You ready? We got four and four. <laughs> you're gonna get some Lou love. And here we go, four up. Four, three, down. It's slow. <laughs> Now what I want you to do is imagine that that weight has a band attached to the floor. And so you're gonna squeeze every muscle in your arm and that's gonna make that weight have a little more resistance to it. Squeeze, two, up, nice. So, when we, you know you know, some of you guys know body pump, right? Les Mills body pump. They do the four and fours and the two and twos. So when I would teach it, I would see people, do it. you'd say four up and they'd be here waiting. And then you'd say four down and they'd be here waiting. The good stuff is in the middle, right? And down, two, again, four. So don't miss the middle. Take your time. One more. And down. And switch. <laughs> Woo! It must be really nice to be Louie. Can I just tell you? Oh my God, that dog. Ready? Here we go. Four, three, two, good. Trudy just asked if anybody knows conjunction, junction, what's your function? Yeah, of course we do. Come on. Good. Nice. Now, and up. Now. Are you, pull, are you turning your wrist out like this? Don't do that, keep your wrist turned in. Good. So your wrist is straight, come straight up. Two, three, down. Uh, again. Woo! Do you guys remember when Menudo was on after the Smurfs on Saturday mornings? Come on. <laughs> Good. Down. It was like at like 10 a.m. There was like a Menudo video on all the time. And I was like, yes, I love Menudo. And down, two, up, good, and stop. Woo, oh yeah. All right, you ready? You have your pullovers, you have your ISO, hamstring bridge, okay? So I'm using my 20s. Oh, this is gonna be fun this time, I can tell. All right, and guess what do we do after? We have a little bonus after. All right, now yeah. All right, you ready? Legs extended, lift it up, hold your core tight. Ready, dumbbells together, four back. Four, three, two, and up. 
up. Two. Good. <laughs> again. I feel like I saw Menudo at Six Flags one time. Good. Do it again. Keep going. I got a hair in my mouth. Down. Two. Three. I definitely saw new kids at, at um, Six Flags Great Adventure. Back. Two. Nice. Come on. Squeeze up. Squeeze up. Nice. Yeah. Again. Stay with it, guys. Come on. Good. Margie says she loves HR Puff and stuff. I thought that was a little creepy. <laughs> like, I also thought Captain Kangaroo was a little creepy. Keep going. One and down. Two. And up. And stop. Woo. Ah. All right, grab a quick drink because guess what time it is. <laughs> Guess what time it is, Kev? <laughs> okay, all right. Oh yeah, all right, I want you to grab medium to heavy set of dumbbells, okay? Woo, we're doing dead rows, okay? So I have 25s. We're going 30 seconds, watch. You're gonna go down, row, down and up, okay? So 30 seconds, and then we have another move after. You ready? Here we go, 30. Bonus, squeeze, down and up. Hips back, good. Again, back is straight, abs are strong. Again, and down, pull, good. Again, come on, down, good, come on. Keep going. And down, up, stop, put it down. Okay, 30 seconds. Three, two, one, up, or three, two, one, jump. In three, two, one, go. One, two, three, up. One, two, three. So someone said, you used to teach body pump? Yes, did not necessarily love it. I was very bored of body pump. Two, three, good. Um, good workout, absolutely. Yes, great way to get people into doing more weights and a little bit heavier. Um, I personally don't find they move in enough planes of motion. Uh, good. Stop. One more round of both of those. Okay, ready? Here we go, dead row. Down, row 30. Yep, here we go. Down. Good. Again. Good. Again. Woo! Down. Good. Again. Feel my core working on these. Come on. Stop. Put them down. One more set of those. Three pulse jump. Ready? And go. Three, two, one, up. But that's just my opinion. I do think that they, I do think body pump was a good workout and actually was one of the best certifications I ever taken that actually teach people how to teach. Three, good. Two, three, good, come on. Two, three. Stop. Woohoo! All right. Let's have a seat. Good job. Cross it. Okay, leg is crossed. Pull your chest forward. Don't do this. Chest forward. Nice. Hold right there. Ah. Um, the body pump certification was three days long and they did a pretty good job of explaining where phrases were in music, which is nice because I've been to a lot of certifications where they would just put people through to teach step even say, cross your left leg all the way over, hand down and then grab the back of the chair or you could twist here. 
<laughs> Hit the R button, Kev. <laughs> She's like, no. <laughs> Nobody talk to me. <laughs> Whew. Good. And back to the center. Cross your right leg over. Good. And bring it forward. Whew. Good. Hold it. <sighs> but for me, with any workout, I think as long as it's getting someone motivated and getting people, <laughs> right, Debbie Murphy? Getting people motivated and getting people moving, that makes me happy, right? So if your thing is Zumba or CrossFit and I don't, I'm not into those two things, that doesn't mean you can't do them. That's, I'm happy that you're doing them, right? Good. Whew. Take it up, cross it over. Good. Debbie Murphy, yeah, I had the first, so I was certified when, when Body Pump used to give out VHS tapes, right, Deb? Yeah, VHS tapes. My first one was Body Pump number five. <laughs> Good, take it up. Now listen, fold forwards. Good, hold right there. Body Pump number five, it was good. I actually remember the music, We Will Rock You was the bicep track, and Let's Get Loud was the tricep track. So good. <laughs> uh, hold it. Nice. Bend the knees. Roll yourself up. And what I want you to do is bring your left arm across. Whew. Good. Good. Well, yeah, Maggie said licenses for the gym and certifications for the instructors. They are really expensive. And the other thing I did not like, other, other certifying organizations make you get actual continuing education, education to stay certified. And Body Pump, Les Mills, the way you stay certified is to, make, to buy the new, buy the new um, release. So you can only stay certified if you buy four releases a year, which is not education. It's just new music and new choreography. Take the hands back behind. Good, drop the head to one side. Woo, Nancy, yay, welcome to your first live. So, so Valerie said, kettlebell, anyone? I'm not a kettlebell lover. I just, I have, I, maybe I just haven't found the right workout for me. I'm not saying they're not good, I think they're great. I just personally, for me, I don't, just don't like them. That's okay, right, up. Good, side to side, side to side. So back and legs today. Listen, everybody, give me a big breath in. Hands together, bring them to your heart. Fantastic job, everybody. Don't forget to hit that like, share, subscribe. And uh, for those of you who didn't get yours yet, they're on my website. What you doing? What you doing? Daniel, yours is on the way. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.